and I'm the teen librarian at Bay County Public Library. May is Asian Pacific American Heritage Month, so we're going to talk about and do a craft based on the work of contemporary artist Yoyoi Kusama. In 2014, her exhibitions were attended by more than any other artists in the world. Yoyoi Kusama was born in Japan and moved to the U.S. when she was 28. Ever since she was a child, she had to deal with mental illness, including anxiety and hallucinations. However, instead of letting it hold her back, she became inspired to make art. She is famous for using polka dots and makes a variety of art, including paintings, sculptures, and installations. In these pictures, you can see one of her infinity rooms on the left, which is decorated with lights and mirrors. On the right, you can see one of her pumpkin sculptures she is well known for. In this video, we're going to make a flower sculpture based on Kusama's flower sculptures using a plastic bottle. Here are the materials you will need for your sculpture. A plastic bottle, it can be large or small, acrylic paint, permanent markers in red and black, a flower pot, pipe cleaner or a stick, styrofoam or modeling clay, hot glue, q-tips, and you'll need scissors to cut the bottle. Okay guys, so this is the craft you're going to be making. It looks a little bit like one of Kusama's sculptures, right? And the great thing is this is recycling because we're making it out of a plastic bottle, okay? So you can tell I used a large bottle. This is the bottom of the bottle. Uh, I'm going to show you how to make it though with a small bottle. Let's start with a flower pot. Now this was just a clay flower pot that I painted. I actually, to get the dots, the polka dots, which are, you know, with, which were associated with Kusama, uh, I used a Q-tip to make a just painted dots all over, okay? So you can use a plastic one if you want. It's up to you. You don't even have to paint it. Um, I like the clay pot because it's a little heavier, so my flower won't be as likely to fall over. Uh, let's start from the base, right? So you can see that my flower is actually attached to a styrofoam ball. I stuck it in a styrofoam ball, okay? Now, um, all I had were little styrofoam balls. Maybe you could find a larger styrofoam ball, or you can use modeling clay. Really whatever you can find that will you can stick your flower in that will work. But I have one of these, so I sort of had to improvise. Okay, so what I did to raise up this ball, because you can kind of see it's too low, I just found some scrap paper I had laying around because it was printed on, so I used it for scrap paper and I didn't need it. So I just folded it. You can kind of scrunch it up if that helps too. Whatever works to get it in there. And I stuck it in the bottom. And I did the same thing. I kind of scrunched it up, stuck it in the bottom. And that raised up my styrofoam ball. Now, this is where glue will come in. I did hot glue. With this one, I hot glued this to the bottom. I hot glued this to this piece. And then I hot glued this ball to the paper. But first, before uh, we even glue this to the paper, let's talk about our flower because you're gonna have to cut holes in this, okay? So we'll wait on the gluing. All right, so I have a bottle. This is the type of bottle you can use, or a large bottle. All right, you can see that I already have my flowers and leaves here. What I did, I'm going to show you, is the flower is the bottom of this bottle, okay? So I've got a permanent marker that, that draws a little bit better on plastic. And what I did was to kind of get an idea of where I want to cut. Now you can make the flower as wide as you want, okay, but I drew a line I 
and I cut this bottom part off. Okay? Now, you can see though that it's not just a straight line, right? So once you cut off this bottom piece, you can, you can draw with a marker if you want. Okay, you can see where I drew the flower petal edges. Um, because once I cut off the bottom, you cut the flower petal edges out. So we're going to cut the bottom. All you have to do is you can kind of squeeze the bottle a little bit and get it started. And once you get it started, it's pretty easy to cut. petals on the edge. So all you have to do is cut and take out each little piece so that you get flower petals. Okay, so you can see that I painted this. I kind of based it on one of her sculptures where it's red on the outside and white on the inside. It might take a lot of paint, a white paint, and this on the inside, uh, some of her flower sculptures have an eyeball in the center. You can kind of see how I did this one. Um, so I drew an eye. I used a permanent marker. You know, I used a red marker for this and a red and black markers. I just used a black one for this. Um, now the polka dots, again, I used paint and a Q-tip because it makes those little perfect circles just about. Okay. So the center of the eye, you can see I've got, it's a bottle cap. It's the bottle cap from the bottle. So I actually went ahead and painted this one. Okay. And what we're gonna do is hot glue that onto there. Okay, so I've got my hot glue gun here. And so I'm going to glue the bottle cap to the center of the eye. It's pretty much like the pupil of the eye, okay? So be really careful with hot glue though. Make sure it's okay with your parents. You might be able to use some other types of glue, but hot glue is best for plastic. Okay, I'm just gonna set that there and I'm just gonna put it in the center of my eye. Just hold it on there for a minute goes right on there. Okay, it dries pretty fast too, so that's great. I'm just gonna set my hot glue to the side. Right now. Okay, so let's talk about the leaves. Okay, so here are, I went ahead and did some leaves, but I'll show you how to do them. All right, so these are gonna be the leaves for this flower. I actually, get the leaves from the same bottle that you cut the bottom off of. So what you do is take a marker and just draw a leaf. It doesn't have to be perfect. Okay, I'm just going to draw a leaf. Okay. Alright, and all you have to do is cut out your leaf. You can start from the bottom because you've already cut off the bottom so it's easier. Okay? And of course I use the bottle cap again for the people of the eye. Okay. And I painted these and again I did polka dots. I based it off one of her sculptures. You can look up her sculptures. There was even some on the slides, one of the previous slides you can use. Okay? We have our base again. We do have our styrofoam bowl. I haven't glued it yet. So the reason I haven't glued it yet is because the leaves are gonna have to go in the sides. So I'm gonna poke little holes where I want the leaves to go, okay? Now you can use scissors, just be careful. Don't hurt yourself. You can use the sharp end of a scissor. Be very, very careful. Just poke into the side here. You want a good enough hole that the leaf is going to have a good anchor. Maybe a little bit deeper or a little bit wider. Okay. All right. And I'm 
do the same thing to the other side. So here's my, there's the one hole. I'm keeping my finger on it so I know where it's at. Be very careful with the scissors. So if you're using modeling clay, you would just stick it in the modeling clay. Okay, so yeah, that's pretty good. Now we're not done with the styrofoam ball yet. Uh, so this is gonna have to have a stem, right? So with this big flower, you can see, I actually took a, a wooden dowel and wrapped the pipe cleaner around, a couple of pipe cleaners around it. Um, you can see that I actually let a piece hang off and glued it so that the flower could hang off of that. Okay. Um, with a little flower though, you really don't, if you want to use a stick, you can, but really all you need is a pipe cleaner, maybe just even one pipe cleaner. But the pipe cleaner is going to have to go in a hole in the styrofoam. So. Now, uh, I double it over. It's a little stronger that way. You don't need it to be super tall, because I mean, you know, that's about the right size. So what I'm gonna do is poke a hole in the top. And make sure, I put a finger on either hole, on either side, so remember where they're at, because you wanna go directly on top. a little messy just so you know if you're using styrofoam you may have to clean up okay so let's see how that if that fits okay and it does I'm going to go ahead and let's hot glue remember I said hot glue all the paper in there first so that it's more stable and it doesn't fall out I'm gonna hot glue this to the paper I'm gonna so this is my hole on top I'm keeping my finger on it so I know where it's at Again, be careful with hot glue. And just glue it in there. Okay. All right, now, let's see, where are our leaves holes at? Make sure you know where your leaf holes are at on the sides of the styrofoam ball. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to hot glue the leaves in, okay, so that they'll stay in their holes that you made. I'm just going to put a little bit of hot glue on the end, just a little, on both sides, okay? So we just stick it in the hole on the sides, okay? So you guys can see. In the hole. And again, you know, you can raise this up higher, however high you want your flower to be, or lower. Okay, so let's do the other side. And a little bit of glue on the bottom and on the top. Okay. I'm going to put that in the other hole. Careful again with hot glue, it can burn you, okay? All right, it's very good for plastic, but it's very hot. So I've got my leaves in there, right? So this is when we're gonna hot glue the pipe cleaner into the hole on the top. So put a little hot glue on the ends. Okay, pretty good. Okay, so let's stick it in its hole. Let that dry. Doesn't take long. Now you can see that I, while this is drying, you can see I added paper, shredded paper. You don't have to, but I thought it looked nice. It kind of covered up the styrofoam in the paper. Uh, if you do that, make sure that it's completely dry and not hot anymore. You don't want anything to catch on fire. That would be bad. Okay. So got the beginning of our flower, right? We've got the base, glued everything together. 
So now, this is where we add the flour. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna bend the top over, kinda like that. You can bend it down more if you want to. Okay, Let's see how I did that? Okay, so, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna glue this to here, okay? So let's put some hot glue on this, this end right here. Okay, so I'm just gonna take the end here, make sure it's lined up right. Be careful, this is really hot now. You can easily burn yourself right here. Make sure it's all the way on there. Okay, so we've glued the flower on. Now you can bend it back a little bit so it's not flopping forward so bad. And there we go, we got a little flower. Again, you can cover all that part up with some, you know, some cut paper, some rocks maybe even. You know, don't squish your leaves, but whatever you want to do to kind of cover it up and make it look a little bit more like art, like a statue or natural even. Okay? Okay, guys. Uh, please join us for some suggested reads, okay? Thank you. Here are some suggested checkouts from the Northwest Regional Library System if you would like to learn more about Kusama or some other artists. The book in the middle is a juvenile biography. The book on the left is a juvenile nonfiction book about women artists in history. Kusama has her own page. On the right is an adult documentary DVD about Kusama. Thank you. Please subscribe.